Halo guys, back lagi dengan gue Nosta Bang. Sekali ini kita lanjutin lagi trend simbol 3-nya. Setelah kemarin kita sudah selesai ya pakai BNSF-nya. Sudah selesai guys. Sekarang kita bakal mainin ini udah, 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 ini. Kelas 395 SEB. Hitachi Rail 2007-2009 production ya produksinya ya ya electric multiple unit Hitachi apakah ini abangnya Sasuke <laughs> kita langsung aja ya di sini ada empat modul training ada yang 5 menit 20 20 20 oke okay. kita yang dari 5 menit dulu habis ini yang ke 20 menit kalau empat modul ini kepanjangan ya paling gue bikin beberapa video ya Mungkin dua video kali ya untuk modul training ini Welcome to South Eastern High Speed Dan ya gue mau ngingetin buat kalian yang belum subscribe Jangan lupa di subscribe aktifin juga loncengnya Biar kalian dapat notifikasi kalau nonton yang upload video Jangan lupa kasih like nya guys Thank Welcome you Welcome to Ashford International Located in Kent in the South East of England Situated directly between London and the Strait of Dover Kent has always been an important link between the capital city the coast and mainland Europe. Inggris, yeah. Today, HS1, previously known as the Channel Tunnel Rail Link, provides an essential high-speed connection through this historic county for both domestic and international travelers. Nah, ini kereta ini udah pernah nih. Udah pernah dimainin nih kemarin ya, minggu-minggu lalu. There's a missing route map over there. Fix this while you're here. Bentar. Minden kali kameranya ya, di sini kali ya. Oke. Okay. Kita disuruh ke sana dan itu ada. Nah ini nih kereta yang ini nih belum pernah kita mainin nih. Kita ci. There are lots more tasks to discover throughout this route. Make sure to apply all the route maps, place newspaper bundles, patch holes in the fences, and place safety signs. Your train has arrived. Let's climb aboard. Okay, kita disuruh naik, guys. Okay, mbak, saya naik, mbak. Di mana, guys? Sini aja lah ya. Tu, duduk di sini. This train is the British Rail Class 395 Javelin, manufactured by Hitachi. Go on, sit down in any available seat. Iya mbak, saya bakal duduk mbak. Uh, ah, ada orang di situ. Sini aja deh. Ah, di sini. Eh sepi ini kereta woi. Oh, di jalan. Ashford Station originally opened in 1842, although it has gone through two significant rebuilds since then. First to provide electrification, and then again to facilitate international travel. Ah, saya jadi penumpang. On a typical year, around 4 million domestic and international passengers use this station. Wow. This route runs for over 60 miles between Ashford International and London St Pancras as well as an additional 30 mile link between Dartford and Faversham. Kita sampai mana nih? Enggak, gue pengen di dalam aja. Suasana menjadi penumpang. On this route, you can experience a unique and exciting blend of classic mainline running and thrilling high-speed commuting aboard state-of-the-art motive power. This is Train Sim World, southeastern high speed, London to Ashford and Faversham. Wah, udah, oke. Okay. Ya, yeah, oke, okay. introduction pengenalan ya. Oke, okay, continue. High speed sinyal introduction. Oke. Okay. In this training module, you'll be learning how to use the TVM in cab signaling system. Warna warni nih di kabin nih. Kuning, biru, hijau. 
The TVM430 in-cab signalling system alerts drivers to changes in speed from several kilometres away. So you're currently around Dagenham, Essex, just before Tunnel 2 and heading towards London St Pancras. In this training module, you'll be driving westbound into London and understanding all the indications that the TVM system is giving you to safely complete the journey. You'll be stopping at Stratford International and London St Pancras. The TVM system splits the line up into a series of blocks. The start of these is indicated by a TVM block marker. You can see these along the side of the line as a yellow triangle set against a blue background such as the one directly in front of you now. Get the train moving and let's get going. Most of this journey is going to take place in tunnels and that will make it easier to focus on the TVM indications coming up in the cab. Okay. Apply power to get moving. Yang ini ya, handle BC turun BC BC zero Apply power to get moving, oke okay, kita masukin power handle one The first difference you will notice when driving on the high speed section under TVM control Is that all the speed indications in the cab are in kilometers per hour while the other non-TVM controlled lines are in miles per hour. The train will automatically switch between the two. The TVM 430 display is made up of a series of indicators on the top center of the control desk, and you will see numbers lighting up in various positions as you go. Only one number will be displayed at any time, and this number is your current maximum permitted speed. This is also shown on the HUD with a blue marker. As you get started, you can see that the train is showing a 225 display, meaning that our maximum permitted speed is currently 225 kilometers per hour. Keep accelerating. Okay, Mbak. 225 km per hour. Dizinkan. <laughs> Di atas 200 km per hour, guys. Let's go. Power handle 4. Mentok ini ya power handle-nya ya. Power handle-nya sampai 4, sampai 4. Suaranya Oh ini hornnya nih Laksonnya disitu Ini banyak tombol-tombol Oke As you approach Stratford International The TVM system will begin slowing you down Ready to stop And this will be explained as it happens Ini gelap Kecepatan kita sekarang 193 km per jam Masih di power handle 4, masih 4 tuh Iya kelihatan ya, ini ya Kilometer nih, kilometer per hour tuh 198, 199 Wuh. Sekarang masih turunan 0,4% turunannya Halo? Halo? Eh, ini panjang kali ini terowongan nih. Dua ratus empat belas, dua ratus lima belas, dua ratus enam belas kilometer per hour, dua ratus tujuh belas, dua ratus delapan belas. Gue malah tekan dua ratus sembilan belas. Punya apaan tuh? 225, iya bang 
Batasnya 225, Bang. In a moment, the 225 indicator will Flashing, begin. Flashing, yeah. Flashing. Terus. That means the next block will be at a reduced speed. Oke. Okay. You don't need to do anything now except prepare to slow down. Oke. Okay. Next, you will see the indicator change to show a flashing 200. Yep. This means that you should now be slowing down to reach no faster than 200 km per hour by the next block marker. Per hour, okay. Additionally, since it's flashing, you know that the next block will be slower as well, so you can continue braking. Kurangi kecepatan. Wait for the indicator to change and then begin to slow. The indicator will next change to a flashing 160. Once this has appeared, continue slowing so that you are no faster than 160 km per hour by the next marker. It is flashing, so you will continue to be slower at the following block too. Yeah, bang. The TVM system will next show a steady 100. Once it has appeared, continue slowing down to no faster than 100 km per hour by the next marker. Since it is steady, You know that TVM will not be slowing you down further. As you exit tunnel 2 into Stratford International Station, apply brakes as needed to come to a stop. Yeah, okay. Kita bakal berhenti guys Empat ratus meter Tiga ratus Seratus enam puluh Tujuh puluh Empat puluh Dua puluh Sepuluh Lima, empat, tiga, dua, satu Dua meter, ya Aman Great work, you've stopped at Stratford International For this training module, you don't need to open the doors. So let's get going and do the second leg of this journey into London St Pancras. Okay. You won't receive any further guidance on how to understand TVM. Use what you've just learned. It will be a similar approach slowing you down out of Tunnel 1 into London St Pancras to the one you just did. Apply power to get moving. As you get started, note that your maximum permitted speed is still 100 km per hour. Yep. But it will rise to 225 km per hour as you enter tunnel 1. Saat masuk tunnel 1 ya. Remember, flashing indications mean that the next block will report a lower maximum permitted speed. And when you get a reduction in maximum permitted speed, you have until the start of the next block to achieve it. Stop at location. Sentan Crash Internasional. Saat kita memasuki tunnel di depan, terowongan di depan, kita diperbolehkan sampai 230 km per hour ya. Berarti langsung aja let's go power handle for. Halo, Mbak. Masuk terowongan lagi. Turunan 1,6 persen
ดับกริปตัญญาคัน 0,7% 200 oke Pas tiga puluh, oke. Minimal break. Dua setengah kilometer lagi, guys. Sebelum kita sampai di Pangkas Internasional, masih tanjakan dua koma empat persen. Power handle off, costing. Turunin lagi. From here on, TVM is shut down and the indicators will have gone. Now you're back to relying on route knowledge or the HUD to know about upcoming signals and speed limit changes. Watch for speed reductions as you continue your final journey into London St Pancras. Ya, sih ya rutenya. Oke, turunan <laughs> Udah kayak mau ke stasiun kota nih <laughs> Asli Stasiun kota nih guys Jakarta Pindah jalur Costing. Minimal break. Seratus meter, seratus puluh, seratus, sembilan puluh, delapan puluh, tujuh puluh. Enam puluh, lima puluh, empat puluh, tiga puluh, dua puluh, sepuluh, sembilan, delapan, tujuh, enam, lima, empat, tiga, dua, satu. Weh, weh, mulus. That concludes the basics of driving under TVM. Rerun this training module in the training center whenever you want a refresher on yep. how to understand the TVM 430 signaling system. Signaling system, guys. Kita barusan diperkenalkan dengan signaling system TVM 430 tadi ya, tahu berapa? Lupa. Dan kayaknya cukup deh. Kalau ke modul selanjutnya kayaknya bisa lebih panjang durasinya ya. Segini dulu deh. Dua modul training dulu dan sekarang udah jam 8 pagi. Ada yang mau gue kerjakan hari Jumat hari ini ya Ya semoga internetnya juga lancar ya hari ini Hari Jumat 9 Juni Upload biasa Kalau nggak ada kendala ya, ya bisa ditonton Dipublish videonya jam 2 siang 
waktu Indonesia Barat. Dan ya kali ini high speed sinyal introduction kita pengenalannya berarti masih ada dua modul lagi yang bikin gua penasaran dengan kereta kelas 395 SEB Hitachi. Namanya kok Jepang-Jepang gitu ya? Apa emang dari Jepang? Hitachi guys, apa? Ini abangnya Sasuke nih fix. <laughs> Hitachi Jepang kayaknya ya. So tahu Nosta nggak tahu guys. Yang tahu komen di bawah ya. Gue belum nge-google lagi ya. Masih ada dua modul hmm. lagi di episode apa di video selanjutnya aja ya. Kelas 395 introduction. What? Ini kayaknya baru training ke keretanya nih besok nih. Power change over introduction. Oke, okay, menarik. Apa yang akan dihadapi gua? <laughs> apa yang akan kita hadapi video selanjutnya? Menarik. Menarik gaming. Dan ya, thank you for watching. Semoga terhibur gaming. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, dan share. Jangan lupa jaga kesehatan kalian semua. Dan good game well played, guys.